up guys, CJR here today with a video about my modded Game Boys. As most of you know, if you follow me on Instagram, links in the description below, um, you'll see that I've been uh, I've been doing a lot of Game Boy modding uh, just as a hobby on the side. Um, at garage sales and, and just hunting for video games, I come across a ton of old, old uh, Game Boys, specifically the DMG, the original Game Boy. Um, I've also got uh, a couple stores around here that help me out if they get really beat up ones in. Uh, Game Boys, Game Boy Color, Pockets, Advance, SPs. Um, if they're too beat up for them to sell and they're too much work for them to do, then they'll give them to me for a good price. Um, a lot of the times I just need them for parts. So, um, Specifically with the original DMG Game Boy, uh, I find these for like a dollar or two. And a lot of times they're missing lenses, speakers are bad, they're full of coke or whatever it is, food, if they're really gross, <laughs> discolored. Uh, most of you probably have one like that. So you can get them really cheap and uh, it's, it's, it's a little bit time consuming, but uh, it's a relatively easy mod to uh, swap the case. Uh, in the case of the DMGs, I'll show you a quick video here of my setup upstairs. So here's where I've been doing my mods lately. It's a bit of a mess right now, but as you can see, I've got uh, four original Game Boys here torn apart. Uh, two SP mods ready to go and uh, this bin down here is full of uh, Game Boy colors and a couple more original Game Boys that I want to mod so uh, I've been doing it pretty extensively I've been kind of chipping away at um, basically what I'll do is I'll uh, spend an hour installing all the chips then I'll put it away then come back the next day and maybe work on doing a few screens and uh, yeah, in about a week I can get a couple done. So it still takes me quite a while to do so. But yeah, here's my area that I'm working on right now. In the case of the DMGs, uh, what I do to these is obviously I give them a new housing. This one is my favorite. This is my personal one, obviously. I call this the Stormtrooper. Just black and white. I like mine pretty simple and plain. Um, absolutely love using this. Uh, it's really brought me back to playing more Game Boy games. I've played more Game Boy games in the past six months than I have in my entire life probably. So uh, really enjoy doing these mods. So case mod, I put a glass lens on these. Uh, you can find all these things from Handheld Legend. Uh, I'll leave a link to Handheld Legend in the description below. Uh, and then what I do is I put a backlight in the screen and then it's called a Bivert chip. Um, Bivert just kind of uh, Biverts the uh, black and white pixels and it gives you a lot better contrast. Um, this does not compute, did a whole series of videos on all these mods, far better than the one I did. The one I did was just kind of showing you the process of how I make the Game Boy Color. Like I said, you can see that in the cards. Um, but I'll turn this one on. I don't know how well it's going to come across on camera there. But... So this is the, this is Donkey Kong on the Game Boy Color, or this is Donkey Kong on the original Game Boy. This is a fantastic game. It starts off like normal Donkey Kong, but goes into like a really cool puzzle type game. So, uh, like I said, a lot of times the speakers will go on these two. The speakers an easy fix. I showed how you fix the speaker in the video that I did. Uh, it's the same for the DMG. <clears throat> so you can turn an old dingy Game Boy Color into something really, really cool. Uh, absolutely love this. I play this the most actually. I just love, I got pretty big hands, so I love the old, the feel. It just brings me back to when I was a child. When the Game Boy first came out, it was such a mind-blowing experience to play NES games on a handheld. So that's that one. Uh, next, I'll skip to the Game Boy Color. Again, on these, uh, there's no way to backlight a Game Boy Color. So it's a, actually a front light mod, and you do that by applying the front light and um, a layer of Loca glue, which is liquid liquid optical clear adhesive so it dries super clear and you put that between the screen I, I did the whole video on it you can watch it there and then again i'm swapping up the cases you can do kind of cool colors you get it all from handheld legend and uh it's not as dramatic of a difference as the dmg game boy but uh it is uh much better than the original you can actually play it um in the dark or whatever or even in the sun, it's not too bad. They're not. It's not super high contrast, super bright colors, but uh, it's it's still a very uh, cool mod. Mario Golf. Um, you can switch up the color scheme. They've got different buttons. It's actually really fun to do. Again, I put a glass screen on that one. 
All right, so the Game Boy Pocket. This was the most frustrating mod I did. Um, I don't think I ever want to do these again. I So basically it's the same process as the DMG Game Boy. Um, it's a backlight. Uh, the problem with these guys is there's a film on the back of the screen that you need to pull off so the backlight can shine through. Relatively easy on these, it comes off pretty clean. Uh, this one's super hard. There's very little room to work with and there's two ribbon cables that uh, I already I damaged one and ruined it basically. It has a vertical line across here that I can't fix. So extremely, extremely frustrating. Uh, you can also put the Bivert chip in these, but I just didn't do it just because after this, I, I never wanted to look at modding a Game Boy uh, Pocket again. It was really frustrating. So um, I'll probably let it sit for a while and go back and fix this one up. But the Pockets have a better screen than the original Game Boy, so it looks a little bit better as is, but if you add the Bivert to that, it would look amazing. Um, this wasn't the best mod job. I have to go in and fix this one up, so. But you can see, nice new case, glass screen again. I really like putting the glass screens on there because it's uh, very uh, scratch proof. The glass doesn't scratch very easy at all, so. And then finally, the final mod that I do is um, the GBA mod. It's a GBA backlight mod. So basically what you're doing here is you're taking a 101. I try and get ones that are beat up or broken because I'm just going to harvest the screen. And you're putting the 101 screen into an original um, Game Boy Advance. Uh, I love the form factor of this. Um, I would rather play this than the SP personally. Um, it's just not backlit. It's, a, it's really hard to see. Uh, from, from factory, so um, this one is a dramatic, dramatic difference. Uh, this mod costs quite a bit to um, to do. Uh, I will at some point be selling some of these. You gotta follow me on Instagram if you if you want to see that. So um, yeah, you can see here. I'll turn the volume down. But these these look absolutely amazing. These are really really stunning. This game here is a fan translation of uh, Mother 3. So yeah, that's Mother 3 playing on the GBA. Um, other mods, you can do this. You can do a sound mod. I think it's Pro Sound Mod, maybe. It's a much louder speaker. If you saw Metal Jesus' video, that's what they did. I didn't think it was necessary. I might try and do that down the road sometime. Um, you can install a screen uh, with a special type of ribbon cable where you can control the brightness, but uh, I just like like it the way it is. Um, and again, black with gray buttons. So I like it nice and simple. So, Anyways, those are my four mods. I thought I would just quickly show you guys where I keep my Game Boy stuff. I just recently did some changes down here. The game room is coming very soon, so I'll give you a sneak peek at uh, where I keep all my Game Boy stuff. Okay, so I keep my Game Boy stuff in this really cool ottoman here. I use this as like a coffee table slash ottoman down here. Uh, the really cool thing about it is it's um, kind of like spring loaded and it's got a lid so you can store stuff in here. So as you probably saw by the thumbnail, this is where I keep all my Game Boy stuff. Uh, I keep my Game Boys here. There's Game Boy, uh, Game Boy Color. Uh, this is actually some Game Gear stuff. And then a whole bunch of uh, GBA stuff here. So um, some Nintendo controllers. I used to have controllers in here, but I wasn't using them as much. So I thought that this would be a better solution. It's really hard to store Game Boy games. It's it's tough to find a good storage solution. This way it's great. I can access my Game Boy, pull out a game, and I'm good to go. So that's where I keep my Game Boy stuff. Okay, guys, that's been a quick video on some of my Game Boy mods that I'm doing. Like I said, if you want to see these mods as they're being uh, completed and as they're done, and some might be up for sale, you can follow me on Instagram. The link is in the description below. I'm going to leave just a link for handheldlegend.com if you're interested at all in doing any of these mods. You can find the This Does Not Compute videos on the Handheld Legend site. So that's the best place to go for any information, tips, uh, where to buy all the parts. Um, relatively inexpensive doing these for, for most things. So it's actually really a, f a fun hobby that I've uh, kind of developed in modding Game Boy. So um, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, do me a big favor and hit that like button. Stay tuned for the room tour coming up very soon. Uh, I've got the Christmas gift exchange coming up with Game Rally VT. He's actually right behind me on the couch here. Matt, <laughs> they can't see you. Come oh. peek your head over there. <laughs> uh -oh. There he is. 
So we're about to film that right now, so stay tuned for that coming up too. If you haven't done so already, feel free to subscribe or check out one of my previous videos. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Till the next episode.